Hello everybody. So this is just a quick demo of a new repertory that we have in Radar Opus. Um, this is the New World Vet repertory by Richard Pitcairn and Wendy Jensen. So it's derived from um, the Boja Boninghausen repertory, which some of you may be familiar with. Uh, the main difference is that they've sort of reorganized the structure and taken out some of the symptoms that couldn't be given to you by an animal because they're too subjective. Um, so some of those sort of types of pain descriptions you won't find in here. And the idea is to make it um, quick and easy for vets to use. So um, my idea was just to give you a quick demo, a look around the repertory and how you can use it in Raid or Opus. So one of the main things the authors focused on was to um, get these cross references really finely honed in this repertory. So I'll just uh, clear this clipboard so we can start again and I'll show you just an example here. So if we take this rubric with the cross-reference here, um, you can do it in one go in Opus, which is nice. You can take and specify the options or use the hotkey, which is F6. Now, depending on your computer preferences, you might have to press the function key first, which is the bottom left-hand key of your keyboard and then combine that with F6. Okay, so you can take the cross-references and put them into a group and we can set an intensity as well, which is particularly helpful if you're using um, the Vitalgus Expert system, which is another um, great feature in Radar Opus that you can combine any repertory with, with that system. So let's take this um, symptom as well. F6, um, let's mark this as causative, so from fright, and it's also going to take the cross-reference there, fear and anxiety. So it's causative, we'll set the intensity at 3 again, and take the cross-references in a group. So if I click on the clipboard you can see that being built up. Okay, and then I can go back into the repertory and have the chapters by the side there. Let's just go to the next. Um, so after eating aggravates. So let's take this again with the cross reference in a group, set an intensity, and then when you're ready you can press enter to take. And then Let's take this symptom too. This time there's no cross reference, so I can just set the intensity. And this time I will use the cross references as well. And take those all into the same clipboard. And I think that is all we need. So if I click on the clipboard now, you'll see that they've all been added with cross-references and given a letter, automatically put them into different groups. And then what we can do is, let's just change that to one and change these to four. So if you click on one rubric, then hold down Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, then click on a second one, you can um, edit several at a time. And if you just want to change the intensity, um, you select the rubrics you want to edit and you just press the number and that way you can affect the intensity. So now if I go ahead and load the expert system which works strongly with the intensity markings you'll notice nothing happens initially but if I change to the full repertory view then we do get some remedy indications coming through. So that's just because the um, the author name, the author reference isn't recognized in the Vitalkus view. So you can see already that a different set of results, um, Platina coming up first in the expert system there, but below that Oleander, um, not such a usual remedy, but known for skin, gastrointestinal orders. So it makes sense given the symptoms we've put in. 
uh, urticaria is there as well, very strongly marked. So this just uh, again hopefully shows how and Dolichos shows how using the expert system in combination with any repertory in the Radar Opus uh, database um, gives you a very unique and powerful um, program. So I hope you enjoyed that demo and um, that's it from me for today. Bye.